Kanaka Creek Regional Park in Maple Ridge, BC. Today we're going to talk about bees and pollination, so turn up your volume. When we visit the park, we can hear lots of buzzing all around us. The bees are busy, but what are they doing and why are they there? I wonder, why do plants depend on bees? flowers. Can you spot any bees? Flowers are a plant's tool. They create them to reproduce. With the help of pollinators like the bumblebee, pollen is transferred from flower to flower. Once pollen reaches the stigma inside the flower, a plant can start developing seeds. Let's take a closer look. Have you ever seen salmon berry before? We'll use it as an example. What do you notice when you look at this flower? I see five pink petals and a yellow center. The stamen in the center actually produces the pollen. There's also some sweet nectar that attracts hummingbirds, bees, and other insects. Pollination allows fruit to grow. This is the start of a salmon berry. It starts out green, but soon they will ripen into brightly colored berries that are an important food source for wildlife. Let's take a look at this flower to fruit transformation again, this time with thimbleberry. So what's all the buzz about? Well, did you know we have over 5,000 types of native bees in North America? And our native bees are three times better pollinators? This one looks like a honeybee. It's dancing around the flower in search of nectar. And pollen is collecting on its hind legs. We call this the pollen basket. Take a closer look. Can you see it? Bees are so important. One in three bites of food that we eat is made possible by bees who pollinate our food crops and the plants that feed farm animals. They also pollinate trees and wildflowers, which in turn provide food and homes for other animals. Try searching in your own backyard for pollinators. Can you find any other types of pollinators like butterflies, ladybugs, beetles, or hummingbirds? To help out at home, plant different native flowers and let your grass grow longer to provide habitat. Also, stay away from harmful chemicals. And if you visit the park, please remember not to pick or take anything home. Explore with kindness, create memories, but leave only footprints. <laughs>